How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti, and I'm welcoming you to the mothership. Welcome back, or welcome to another video. Today, we are talking about the three greatest tips that I wish I received when I was beginning to play CK3. Let's get started. All right, let me start by saying that this video is for true beginners. So if that's you, you are in the right place. So my top three, albeit potentially generic, are as follows. Number one, starting in the 867 CE time period. Number two, creating your own character for your specific playstyle and understanding the playstyles. Number three, knowing that everything is deeper than surface level. And I mean like way deeper. These might sound kind of basic, but trust me, please. This game is absolutely massive. So these three simple tips are gonna help you a bunch. Talking more on number one, starting in the 867 CE time period is much better. You get way more time to do whatever it is you want to do. Obviously, starting with the tutorial, you don't really get to pick the time period, but the tutorial doesn't have to be played out entirely. You can stop, you know, play for an hour, maybe, learn the basics, and then move on to number two, making your own character and understanding the different play styles. Like, there is so much more than just warring, and even within warring, there's a shitload of details deeper than just having a war. So building your own character, putting the country you want them in, all of that, that's, like, doing that is gonna help you do what you want, and it's so much better than having a default character. If you wanna sneak in the shadows to assassinate your leader or your liege, make an intrigue character. If you wanna start as a small country or county with a solid money printing-like foundation, then become a steward. Start with a small county, upgrade your cities, and just be an absolute money bank. And those are just two of the five lifestyles to choose from, as you'll learn in the tutorial. Essentially, each lifestyle is just that, a lifestyle. Like, don't take the terminology lightly. I definitely did for a very long time. If you found any of this valuable so far, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's free and you can always change your mind later if you want. It helps me know that I'm doing the right thing. Thanks. Last but not least, number three, understanding the absolute black hole-like depth to this game. This is my hugest tip because this was something I was not prepared for when I first started this game. I saw my friend playing and I was like, wow, that looks like a lot of fun. These past two tips were fairly simple and pretty surface level. They should still be pretty valuable to you though too. So moving into number three here, warring involves knowing what type of units to create, what territories or biomes to fight them, and the quality of troops makes, the, makes a difference too. Like it's not just having a war, right? Diplomacy isn't just convincing other people, but literally garnering an absolute following of people to surmise against their own liege or their own king or emperor. And you aren't just leading and developing a tribe into an empire, you're growing your dynasty into almost anything you could dream it to be. You could start off as the smallest country or county in the game and dominate the entire world if that's what you wanted to do. Treat CK3 like any other RPG. It's just built differently. It's a real-time strategy RPG. So you can literally do whatever you want in this game. And some of the things I'm showing on screen here are literally just scratching the surface of what this game has to offer. Like, the map is massive, there's counties, there's duchies, there's kingdoms, there's empires, there's a hundred plus different people to play at. There's, it's just like literally endless. You know, you can create your own dynasty, you can create your own house, you can basically create your own culture, your own religion. There's five different lifestyles that each within their own have different trees that you can go in and specialize in different things. You can create laws, you can fuck, you can kill people, you can take over countries without even lifting a finger. You just This game has so much depth that you could put over, I would guarantee you could put over 10,000 hours in this game and still not have done everything because there is just that much to do. One last thing, honorable mention, get out of your comfort zone sometime too, you know, after a campaign or maybe two, try a random country or shoot for different goals other than world domination, which I mean, I know that was my first absolute massive goal originally. It was just, you know, take over Ireland, and then it was take over England, and then it was like, I'm gonna fucking dominate the world. Anyway, so we covered my top three tips. What was your favorite? Leave a comment down below to let me know. Other than that, we'll talk again real soon. Peace.